Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Look what I finally got. These have been out of stock since the Christmas time frame. Um, there was such a run and such a demand for these at Christmas time that they have been out of stock ever since. Uh, part of one day they had some in stock and I was supposed to get them at that time but there was a mix up and uh, no didn't get them now they are back in stock this is the 120 set of the Arteza Everblend art markers so let's open them up and let's take a look at these they do come in this really nice case that I love this is the 144 uh, slot marker case so you do get them in the marker case which the marker case alone is gosh how much does this 144 cost I cannot remember but yeah the marker case itself um, cost quite a bit so well I shouldn't say quite a bit but it's nice that they do come in the case itself so you don't have to purchase it separately be aware of velcro sound now they do come with the shoulder strap as all of their cases do I don't know about you I always take the shoulder straps off I do not use them <laughs> Oh, look at the prettiness. Oh my gosh. Now, because there are extra slots in here, you can see they kind of spread the pinks out. And then you do have all of these extra slots in the back for putting any extra colors or a different, you know, smaller set in with the Artezas. So, what I am going to do, seeing as how I let's get these out of the way and I'm going to show you these color charts I had um, the 160 or 160 oh yeah don't we wish I originally had the 60 set the 36 skin tone set and the 36 gray tone set what I did when I created my color chart is I incorporated all three sets together. So this is the color chart with all of those three sets combined. So that was nice for that, but <laughs> to show what colors are all in this 120 set that maybe aren't in the 36 sets, um, the skin tone and the gray tones, what I did this morning then, I found some color charts out on the internet of just the gray tone sets, just the skin tone set, and just the 60 set. And what I did was, and I am going to type these up and I am going to have these available in case you want just the sets, um, the separate sets. Here is the skin tone set, the gray tone set and then the 60 set. What I wanna do, I'm gonna pause this video. I am going to put the 120 set in order, um, color-wise, according to all three of these charts, and then we will swatch them out. And I will pause again, and I'm gonna determine what is in the 120 set and what is missing from you know these other sets so that you can see hmm okay I like the 120 set but maybe some of the grays are missing and I want the grays or maybe some of the skin tones are missing from the 120 set I want to get the 120 set but I also want the extra skin tones okay so I'm going to give you a feel for what is all included in this large set because we know with the 60 set the 36 and the 36, 36 and 36 is 72, plus the 60 is 132. So we have 12 colors that are not included in the 120 set. So we'll see what 12 colors are not in there. Okay, so I'm gonna pause right now. I'm gonna get these markers in the order that I want and we're gonna do some swatching. One moment and I'll be right All back. All right, I am back. I have them in some semblance <laughs> 
of order just by color family and that's about it <laughs> they're not going to be in the proper order but we'll still swatch these out as is um, I did notice just by going through the yellows alone there are a number of new colors in this 120 set that are not in any of the three other sets so it's going to be interesting to see what's all new in here and whether you are going to want the 60 set or the skin tone set or the gray tone set in addition to this one so yeah i'm kind of excited too and really curious so let's go ahead and so watch if you are curious as far as you know you just want to know what is in this set versus the other sets just either fast forward through this you know or speed it up or something um, to get to the end of the video let's zoom in so I am gonna take the time um whoops tried zooming in too fast and now we're getting all blurry let me get the focus back in okay a little bit better than that okay all right so yeah let's zoom in a little okay all right are we ready i think i'll put the other sheet up here okay so first off we have 944 sapphire yellow and these all begin with can't even see that with the letter a and i'm assuming that's for arteza so i'm not going to be writing the a down i'm just going to write the number and the name so this is 945 sapphire yellow and again this video is for those of you who love swatching videos I know I do. I love the Arteza markers. I really do. I think they are very nice and juicy. The color selection is awesome. That's why I'm really curious to see what's all in this set. 301 Neon Yellow. And you can't even see that batting a thousand here today nice bright yellow and we have Tuscan Sun 949 nine I can't even read that pretty yellow I will leave links down below to the different sets of markers as well as this marker case I have uh, another one of these big 144 slot marker cases and they come in so handy 944 sunflower yellow so again i know some of these yellows are new so i'm assuming some of the other colors are new too 935 bumblebee yellow we know that one is in the other set bumble no, yeah, bumblebee yellow. <clears throat> and nine thirty seven pineapple yellow. I know that's a new one.
but those three yellows are very similar. If they were going to add some colors, I don't know. Uh, in my opinion, right now, right off the bat, I don't know if I would have added those. And then we have, this is hard to read because it's white, amber yellow, 9424. Very dark yellow. Then we have 9433 Saffron Yellow. Again, kind of similar. Nine thirty four honey yellow. Hmm. Nine thirty six jasmine yellow. bit lighter there. And finally we have 9432 yellow ochre. <coughs> so there are a lot of yellows but like I said hmm some of them are quite similar. 9426 Pale Peach. I said 9426, yep. 9. Now we do know from the other sets that they do have some awesome skin tones. So we're going to see how many are included in this 120 set. 9425 peach 2497 apricot. I see as I try to show you the number, my uh, because it's up closer, my camera is blurring out because I'm zoomed in so much. So I guess it's not even really helping showing this, is it? <laughs> you can see the color of the tip, I guess that's about it. I apologize. And 9423 Pumpkin Orange. Like I said, these really will not be in any semblance of order. They are just going to <laughs> be in color family. Let's see. Yep, pumpkin orange. Okay, 422 vermilion. Oh, I love that color. That is such a pretty orange. And then we have 416 coral. Like I stated when I reviewed the 60 set, 
One thing I do wish they would do, and I know you can't see it real well on here, they have the number of the color quite large and then the name of the color real small and I wish they would switch that around. I think we go by the colored name more than the number, don't we? At least I know I do. Some of you may not, I do. So I wish the color name was larger than the number. But it's you can still read it. So 416 Coral. Oops. Whoa, drop the marker almost. We have a bright one, fluorescent coral. I don't remember that one from before. 302. So this might be a new one. Oh, that's pretty though. It's not necessarily real fluorescent like the cap shows but it is it's a pretty color okay let's go on to this other side and we have punch pink 413 i think that's a new one too whoops punch pink move you up And we have red four one two. Ooh, that's a pretty red. We have four one four tomato red. Or tomato, 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 potato, potato. <laughs> yeah, the pretty red, a little bit of a different tone. We have rose red for Tim. One thing I do like about the Arteza markers too is the covers pretty closely represent the color inside. 411 Ruby Red. At least much better than your other budget friendly markers who or which can be off by quite a bit. <coughs> as well as the color names. Some of them are just bizarre and they do not resemble the color itself at all. 415 Wine Red. Nice and juicy. 9427 macaroon. Nope, this one's macaron pink. <laughs> 9427. And I was told there is such a thing as macaroon and a macaron, which I never knew before. That is a nice skin tone. There actually are not a lot of skin tones, at least the lighter skin tones in this set. Peaches and Cream is the only other one. 428 Peaches and Cream. So the vast majority of the skin tones are in the separate skin tone set. Another great skin tone. Then we jump right into the peaches. Now a few of these peaches are in the skin tone set. I'm assuming like for lips and, and blush and things like that. Cherry Blossom Pink 489. I don't remember exactly which ones, but there's a few.
bubble bath pink. 4817. Okay. And then we have Aurora Pink. 48. 48, is that right? Yeah. I didn't know they had two digit ones. Hmm. That's a pretty pink. Then, <laughs> I left one out when I was inserting these all in here, and that is 487 watermelon pink. So we'll just stick it in here. Like I said, I'm going to have to go through all of these colors anyhow. So the one before that was Aurora. Where's Aurora? What was the number? 48. Okay, so we start here. Okay, then we have 4889 blush pink. And I definitely have to make that column for the number bigger. <laughs> And fluorescent pink 323, and we'll move up to the next column. Let's see if we can get this a little bit clearer. There we go. Okay, yeah, 323 fluorescent pink. Now you can see a little bit better. 323 fluorescent pink. And this I have printed on marker paper. Gosh, I can't remember the name of it. I will link it down below, though. It is a nice, smooth marker paper. Works really great for alcohol markers. And we have Bubblegum Pink 888. Maybe that's why you have the extra slots in here, because there's extra colors in there. So maybe if we combine all the sets, it'll fill this case up. I don't need them. Mm. We have 4886 Cerise Pink. Is that how that's pronounced? 4886. Cerise Pink. Oh, that is so pretty. Forty-eight eighty-seven hot. Similar but a uh, shade lighter. Four eighty six fuchsia. Three crimson red. And 
Yeah, so that'll definitely go over by the reds. And we have a couple of additional reds here, so didn't get these in the right order. We have cherry red 44, so there's another two digit. And raspberry red, 45. Okay, let's get on to some purples. We have 884 lilac. Or lilac. Eighty two seventy five lavender. Eighty two seventy seven periwinkle Ooh, pretty, pretty. Eight eight three wisteria purple. Eight eight five magenta. Oh, that's so pretty. That'll go up by the pinks, though. Eight eight two orchid purple. Oh, my fave. <laughs> my favorite shade of purple. Violet, 881. Oh, that's gorgeous, too. I guess those are both my favorites. 8273 Royal Purple. Let's get into some blues. We have 8276 Carolina Blue. We have a 268 Arctic Blue. And 
8274 Sapphire Blue. So many pretty colors. Oh, I like that one. Two sixty seven pale aqua blue. Two sixty six sky blue. Five fifty seven turquoise gorgeous two sixty three cerulean blue. Usually this is one of my favorite blues. Oh, so pretty. And 265 teal. Love teal too. All these deeper blues are so pretty. Twenty five sixty one pine green. Oh, that is gorgeous. Now that reminds me of a pretty deep teal. We have 264 Asian Blue. Or however that's pronounced. <laughs> Eighty two seventy. Mykonos Blue. Ooh, that's pretty too. They're all pretty, right? And we have 8272 Denim Blue. And you can't even see that. Sorry. Getting into some dark blues now. 262 steel blue. It's not as dark, not in the right order. And finally, in the blues, we have 8269 light navy blue. Okay. Let's get into the greens. 
We have 5948 Lime Green. We have 5959 Pale Green. Oh, we gotta go to the next sheet. Halfway there, folks. <laughs> 5959 pale green. Fifty nine forty seven spring green. That's pretty. Five forty six apple green. The other nice thing about these markers, some of the markers, the caps are so hard to get off. These are not bad, but yet they're untight enough where you know your ink's not going to dry out. So um, like when you pull them off, they, they come off relatively easy, but they do snap shut tight. And that's the most important thing, but yet they're, they're pretty easy to get off. So... That's nice. I know a lot of people have problems with some of the other brands of budget-friendly markers because it is so hard to get the caps off. If you have any hand problems whatsoever, yeah, it gets to be really difficult. 942 Olive Green. Five fifty three moss green, five forty three. Hmm. Oh, nice deep green. We have twenty five fifty two hunter green. Love that green. So pretty. And we have 555 Forest Green. Another gorgeous green. We have twenty five fifty three jungle green. I'll let you guys know in a color and chat when I have all of these color charts available. Twenty five fifty one. Fern green. That's a beautiful deep green. Five, five, six cactus green.
5.554 C green. Five five eight peppermint green. Twenty-five fifty deep teal. Oh, gorgeous! All right, one more in this category. This is fifty-five hole five camel green. That's probably going to go in with the grays. Let's get into some earth tones. 9431. Oh, this is this is that oddball green. <laughs> um, not sure where I'm going to put this. 9431. And this is pear green. And 941 green tea. Okay, now we'll get into some earth tones. 9421 desert sand. Sorry about that, guys. My gosh, I have to watch my iPad more. We have 4103 Ginger. Oh, love that brown. We have forty one oh four beach sand. We have 4100 khaki. And we have 2492 hazelnut brown. Whoops. Twenty four ninety four Sienna Brown. Twenty 
and $24.96 Brandy Rose. And we have $24.91 cinnamon. I always forget. <laughs> it's a two ends, one in. Oh, that's a pretty brown. It's just like fuchsia. Anybody else have a problem <laughs> with fuchsia? 401 burgundy. Another one I think I'll put by red. And 4102, I was going to say concrete, coyote brown. And last, before we get to the grays, we have $24.99 Cocoa Brown. Nice, deep brown. All righty. On to the grays. As you can see, we have quite a few grays. So, 1505 clear water. Had to see if they made this two words or one. Very light gray. And let's get to this other side and we have 1503 white diamond Let's go up to the last column. We have 251 Glacier Blue. We have 152 Fog Gray. And 151 Cloudy Gray. Now, for any of you that have like the ink onyx, the twine markers, you're going to recognize a lot of these names. And that's another nice thing about the Arteza products. The colors and the color names coincide with all of their other products. So that's nice. 751 Pearl. So like for instance, the cloudy gray in this set. The cloudy gray in the ink onyx or the toy markers is the exact same color. Pearl. So I do like that. So 
752 blush gray. Seven fifty three stone gray, seven fifty four fossil gray. Seven fifty five concrete gray, seven fifty six mink. So we're just progressively getting darker with these warm grays. You can see the brown undertone to them. 757 brown gray, speaking of which. And we have twenty four ninety five vintage grape. That sounds like a new one, also. Do not recognize that name. Hmm. That is different. Definitely has a purple undertone. 155 Koala Gray. Hi, I caught it this time before I went off camera. <laughs> Let's write this the correct way. One fifty four dolphin gray, so as you can see, whoops, there are tons of grays in this set. So we'll see how many are included in the thirty six gray tone set. One fifty three silt green. As I already said, there are not many of the skin tones in this 120 set at all. So if you're into coloring portraits, you would need to purchase that skin tone set separately. 551 Sage Green. But maybe the 60 set, the colors in the 60 set would suffice for you and then purchase the skin tone set in addition to that. All depends upon what the new colors are in this set. 253 Powder Blue. Two fifty five ocean blue, two 
And while these are blues, they definitely have that gray type of undertone. Two fifty seven stone blue. So these are all your blue grays. Oh, that's pretty. You definitely could use these to shade with your blues. One fifty seven smoke gray. One fifty six storm gray. Or I do recognize these names for my toy markers <laughs> and my ink on Five five nine deep muted green. Don't remember that one. Definitely a gray green, green gray. <laughs> five five seven army gray. We're getting there, folks. A few more grays. 158 deep blue gray. One fifty nine charcoal gray. Getting into the really dark grays now. Two fifty nine dull teal. Hmm. There it does have a blue green undertone to that one. It's a very pretty color. 758 dark chocolate brown. Now I know this does come in the gray tone set. I had put it up with the browns, but uh, and that's probably what I'm going to do now. But it is in the gray tone set. 758 dark chocolate brown. It is a really pretty deep brown. 759 lava gray. And last, but certainly not least, is our 5,000 Noir. I love that deep black. 
Now, of course, the last one in the 120 set is the zero, which is the clear blender. So I'm just going to write, well, now let's write clear blender. And of course, I will not swatch this out because there's absolutely no color to it. So we'll just put that in the case back here. All right, folks, that is all of the colors swatched out. Let's zoom back out. Like I said, I think we have a lot of yellows here that are the same, and I know a number of them are new. Um, I think they could have eliminated some of these new yellows and added them maybe down here in the oranges. Maybe, you know, the reds a little bit. These three pinks, too. I mean, they're so similar. We could have had, you know, maybe something different in there. Lavender and periwinkle are almost identical. Um, so, yeah, we do have some similar colors. Um, we do run into that in our larger sets of markers, don't we? Especially the 168 sets. Oh, yeah, big time. What I am going to do now, though, is I am going to pause. And I am going to go through the other sets that I have here swatched out the 36 set of skin tones, the 36 set of the gray tones, and also the 60 set um, of the, the Everblend markers. I'm going to go through and I'm going to indicate um, probably with different colored check marks, <coughs> and I'll put a key up here. Like, for instance, say a red check mark indicates it's in the 60 set. Um, maybe a pink will indicate it's in the skin tone, and a gray will indicate it's in the gray tone. Um, I will put some indication here also if it's a brand new color. So we can kind of see what's brand new and what's included in all the other sets. So you can determine what you would need or what you would want. Okay, so I will pause for you. It'll be a second. For me, it'll be a little bit. <laughs> okay, we'll see you in a bit. All right, folks, I am back. I went through everything. Here is the 120 set that we just swatched out. The 60 set, skin tone set, and the gray tone set. This is my set that incorporated all 60 skin tones and gray tones. So this is what I found out, and it was rather interesting. Let me zoom you in so you can see all this. Now, how I marked this all, let's put these other pages all to the side. I have these key coded. So the red check marks indicate they're in the 60 set. The pink check marks indicate they're in the skin tone set. The gray check marks indicate they're in the gray tone set. The blue check marks indicate that they're a brand new color, not in any of the existing uh, sets. So, as we can see, number of the yellows are in the 60 set, but look at the new ones. There are four new yellows. Now, to me, I don't know if these were really necessary um, because some of, like the saffron yellow and the honey yellow, to me, are identical. A um, little bit deeper than these, but, you know, like these two also are pretty much identical. This one, you know, the amber yellow is very close to the yellow ochre. You know, so again, I don't know if those four were necessary. Um, we have all of these that are included in the 60 set with only the peach included in the skin tones. That is the only color 
out of this 120 set that is in the skin tones. So if you do buy this 120 set and you do color portraits, it would probably behoove you to <laughs> also buy the skin tone set because yeah, there's only one in here. Then we have three new reds. We have fluorescent coral, punch pink, and red. All the rest of these reds are included in the 60 set. Then we get down to the pinks. These pinks are all included in the 60 set with the addition of the macaron pink, peaches and cream, and cherry blossom pink being in the skin tone set. Aurora pink is a brand new color. Watermelon pink and blush pink are included in the 60 set. Let's go up to this column. We have a number of new pinks up here. Fluorescent pink, bubblegum pink, and cerise pink are all brand new colors. Again, I think the fluorescent pink and bubblegum pink are so close in color. Bubblegum pink may be just a smidgen darker, but very similar. Um, and then we have hot pink, fuchsia, crimson red are all in the 60 set. Two new ones, cherry red and raspberry red. Lilac, lavender, periwinkle are in the 60 set, with lavender and periwinkle being practically identical. Three new purples, wisteria purple, magenta, and orchid purple. Wonderful additions. Magenta is a little similar, but yet it, it is different. So I think these were good additions. All of these are in the 60 set. Pale aqua blue is a new color. All the rest of these down to denim blue are all in the 60 set. And we have two new colors, steel blue and light navy blue. So those are new. Lime green is in the 60 set. Let's look at the rest of the greens. Pale green's in the 60 set, but we have spring green, which is a brand new color. We have apple. Oh boy. One moment. Let's see if Bob can simmer her down. <laughs> okay, we have apple green and olive green, which are in the 60 set. Two new greens, moss green and hunter green. Then we have forest green, jungle green, which are in the 60 set. Fern green is a new color. Cactus green is in the 60 set. Then we have a number of new greens. We have sea green, peppermint green, and deep teal is a new color. Love that color. Camel green is in the gray tone set. Pear green, green tea in the 60 set. Look at these new colors. We have a ton of new earth tones. A ton. We have desert sand. We have ginger. Love that color. We have beach sand. We have khaki. Then these two, hazelnut brown and sienna brown, are in the 60 set. Brandy rose and cinnamon are brand new colors. Love that cinnamon. Burgundy is in the 60 set. But coyote brown and cocoa brown are new. Clear water and white diamond are in both the 60 set and the gray tone set. Glacier blue is in the 60 set and the gray tone set. Fog gray, cloudy gray. Fog gray is in the 60 set. Cloudy gray is in the 60 set and the gray tone set. But we do have some new grays too. We have pearl, we have blush gray, stone gray is in the 60 set or in the gray tone set. Look at all these new ones though. Brand new colors is fossil gray, concrete gray, mink, brown gray, and vintage grape. Koala gray is in the 60 set. Dolphin gray, silt green are in the 60 set. Sage green is in the, or I'm sorry, dolphin gray and silk green are in the gray tone set. 
Sage Green is in both the 60 set and the Great Tone set. All of these through Storm Green, Storm Gray, is in the Great Tone set. Deep Muted Green is a brand new color. Army Gray, Deep Blue Gray, and Charcoal Gray are in the Great Tone set. Another brand new color that I absolutely love is Dull Teal. Isn't that gorgeous? Then Dark Chocolate Brown is in the 60 set and the Gray Tone set. Another brand new color, Lava Gray. Real deep brown gray. And then, of course, a Noir or Black is in both the 60 set and the Great Tone set. And then, of course, we have the Clear Blender in the 60 set. So, look at all the brand new colors. I added them up. We have 44 new colors in this 120 set. So, there are a lot of colors in the 60 set that are not in the 120 set. We have a number, almost the entire uh, skin tone set that is not in the 120 set. We have a few of the grays that are in the gray tone set that is not in the 120 set. So what I am going to do, I'm gonna do something similar to what I did before when I had just the 60 set, the skin tone set, and the gray tone set is I'm going to create, let me zoom back out, sorry. I'm gonna create an all-inclusive color chart again. <laughs> this is gonna take me a while to do, so uh, I won't have it done anytime in the near future. I am going to go through the 120 set, the 60 set, the skin tone set, and the gray tone set. I am gonna determine what is a new color between all four sets. I'm going to create again an all-inclusive color chart. We're going to see how many unique colors there are between all four sets. That'll be interesting to find out, won't it? Seeing as how there are 44 new colors in this 120 set. I was just amazed as I started going through this. Um, and also, it was really interesting to me that not all of the colors in the 60 set are in here. Um, yeah, at least I don't think so. I thought as I went through this that these were not all in here. I guess I'll find out. Tomato red. Well, maybe they are. Neon pink. No, because like... Neon pink is not in here. Uh, well, that one's called, yeah, fuchsia pink is hot pink. So I don't think quite all of them are. I'm going to have to, like I said, I'm going to have to go through here and just look and see exactly what's what. And then in a future color and chat, I will let you know when I have this new all-inclusive Arteza Everblend marker color chart done. And then I'll more accurately be able to determine, are these all in here? Uh, we know for sure the, the uh, flesh tones are not. <laughs> um, and, you know, just what's what. And I'll do some comparing and I'll do some checking off again. And so, yeah, I think rather than doing another separate video that, that you know, wouldn't make for another video at all. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll just talk about it in a color and chat when I have the new color and chart done. Because whenever I get a new color chart done, I just mention it in a color and chat. Um, I will also let you know when I have all of these color charts converted to PDFs and I get them out on my Google Drive as a shared drive. That shared drive link will always be down in my description um, of every single video. So look forward to that. Again, don't know when that's going to get checked off my bucket list, but it is there on the list. So, okay, well, I know this was a very long video, 
but I hope you found it interesting just to see, you know, all the different colors between all of Arteza's Everblend marker sets. It was rather interesting to me as I went through all four different sets that they now have out there. Um, they also have some smaller sets too, if I'm not mistaken, but this is just the 60, the 120, the skin tones and the gray tones. So again, I will link these all down below in the description. They are Arteza affiliate links. So if you do purchase through that link, um, through any of those links, I do get a little bit of um, a kickback that goes directly back in the channel. This is at no additional cost to you. I also have some general affiliate uh, Arteza links both for the United States and the UK and if you click on those they just take you to the general Arteza website if you want to purchase any of Arteza's products through that link again I get a little bit of a kickback so um, thank you in advance if you use any of those links so all right well if you enjoyed all of this info even though it got to be a long video if you're still with me thank you very much <laughs> if you like this please hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I put out new videos I hope everybody's having a terrific day and as always happy coloring bye guys <laughs>